Hey, what's going on everyone? Travis here from letslearndesign.com with an Adobe Illustrator tutorial all about strokes. Um, so what are strokes? Strokes are basically when we draw an object uh, essentially is the stroke around the object. It's pretty self-explanatory, but to actually see what the stroke is and modify that, we're going to go over those steps now. Um, the stroke is this little thing right here, and if you click on it, it brings it to the foreground, which means you're now editing the stroke. If I click on this here, this is the fill. The fill is what's on the inside, so if I change this color to maybe a blue, it's going to change the inside. If I click on the stroke here and change this color, it's going to change the color of the stroke. So let's do like a, let's do like a yellow. So now, what if we don't want any fill and we just want the stroke? Well, if we click on the fill to activate that and then click on this little button right here for none, now all we have is just the stroke. So let's change the color of the stroke to, let's do like a red. Now, what can we do from here? Um, there is a way to actually apply gradients to strokes, and to do that, go to Window Gradient, in case you don't have it already open. And with the stroke selected and the object selected, we can go to Type and change that to Linear, or you can change it to Radial, depending on what you need. So let's change it to Linear, and you can see we have a pink to green, and here's the pink to green stroke, and then we can change it to these different options here, depending on what you might need. So definitely uh, play around with that. And then, of course, just like any other gradient, you can change the colors here. You can add more, and you click and drag and hold down. It'll uh, delete them. So if we double-click on this pink here, change this to uh, hue and saturation, brightness, we can change this hue slider to whatever color we want. So that's how you can apply to uh, apply a gradient. So let's go back to a solid color. Now, what if we want a stroke of just squares, like dotted squares? Well, to do that, click on the object, make sure the stroke is selected, and up here at the top, you'll see stroke, and you'll see uh, weight here, and that is just basically how how heavy you want your stroke to be. Let's let's put it to about 20 points, and then you have these options here to change some, to some pretty interesting kind of funky looking strokes we'll go back to uniform and then you have this here as well for some other interesting uh, strokes so let's go back to the default here I think it was this, no it was basic and we'll bring it back up to 20 points okay so um, to add some dashes and circles and dots and make some other really interesting stuff you're gonna click on this button here that actually says stroke to open up the stroke panel or you can go to window and click on stroke so here's our stroke panel now if you don't see all these other options and it looks like this click on this little drop down arrow here and click show options and now you have some pretty interesting stuff at your disposal let's say we wanted rounded edges we'll just click on this corner here click round join and now we have rounded edges on our stroke uh, there's also this one here for a round join. Let's go back to the default corner. And uh, there's also a line stroke. By default, it's going to be centered. So you can see our square here. And there's an even amount of this 20 points on the inside of the shape and on the outside of the shape. We can change that to inside, or we can change it to outside, uh, or change it back to the default uh, center. So, all right, let's get to making these to be a bunch of squares. To do that, you're going to click dashed line. And what this is, is basically it's asking you how big do you want the dashes to be. So let's say 10 points. And how much of a gap in between each of those do you want. And let's say 10 points as well. Now from here, we can adjust the weight until we have squares. Now the next thing is uh, we want these to be some clean corners. We don't want it to be all uh, kind of funky looking. So if we change this button right here that says align, aligns dashes to corners and path ends adjusting links to fit. We can click on that, and now we have a perfect square of perfect square, uh, basically dots or dashes here. Now, what if we wanted this to look more like stitching? Well, we can adjust the uh, weight here to be a lot thinner, and that's almost got the effect. Now, what if we want maybe longer dashes with only a small amount of gap? Well, we can leave the dash at 10, and we can adjust the gap to maybe only be 5, and now you can see that... Uh, the entire dash is 10 points and in between is 5 points. So it, you can actually visually see that the gap in between each of these dashes is half the size of the actual dash. Um, and you can basically just adjust these as you need. And what's also cool is you can even add, let's say, let's, let's change this to 20 dash with a, a 20 gap. Oh, it's not, I didn't have it selected. You have to make sure you have it selected and then change this stuff. So let's do 20 
come on, 20 and 20. Okay, so now you can see there's 20 point gash, 20 point gap. Now we can even add another dash and a gap in between these, and that's what these extra uh, values are for. So let's say we want another 5 point dash in between there with a 5 point gap. And now you can see after each dash going down, there's a 20 point dash with a 5 point gap, and then a 5 point dash, and then that 20 point gap. So if we actually just say zero for this gap, um, let's see, let's do 20. Ah, again, you got to be have it selected. Let's put zero for that gap. You can see that this five point dash lands pretty much in between. So you can create some pretty interesting strokes with this. So now what if we, uh, let's zero this stuff out here. There we go. Now, what if we want circles? Like, uh, what if we want dots? Well, to do that, you're just going to cha change the dash to zero, and put the gap to maybe 15. Just depends on uh, your stroke, and we'll put the stroke up. And then you're just going to change this corner here, or I'm sorry, the cap to round cap. So that's the top option here, and then you can adjust your weight as needed. And now you have uh, a perfect square with perfectly evened dots around the stroke and the reason they're even is because we have this setting on if we go back uh, they're kinda off and it looks a little weird they're just trying to adjust themselves based on the dash line settings that you put in to uh, uh, match exactly your values so it's always kinda nice to to check this on here to get those perfect things and of course we can do the same thing with circles and what's really cool is as long as I don't change these things maybe I can come over here to the circle make a circle and automatically it's going to apply these stroke settings to that and let's go to the even thing here and then there you go now we have a perfect circle with dots and of course you can do the same thing with dashes and you can apply this stroke to pretty much anything any shape in uh, illustrator or any kind of path you want to make and um, that's pretty much it let me know if you guys have any questions thanks